Would you like to learn a short routine that you can do every morning to help you feel energized and balanced in a natural way? So in this video, we're gonna do just that. So find a place where you can do some mindful movement. We'll start off in the standing position with the feet together or as close as you can. As you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as you gather in the energy. Bring it into the heart. Send it down towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, gather. Breathing out, softening down. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front as you open the door. The arms float down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in, rising up. Breathing out, letting go. One more time, open the door. Start of the journey. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. The arms float down, the palms face up. They float up the midline, pressing up overhead, and then floating out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in as you rise up, opening the shoulders and chest, decompressing the spine. Breathing out, floating down one more time, holding up the sky. All right, this time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. Then if you want this time, you can do a side bend, easing in, nice gentle stretch. Once more to the other side, connecting above and below. This time bottom hand comes up, push to the corner. The other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. If you want, this time you can turn a little bit more. Pivoting on the feet, pushing out to the side, maybe even looking over the shoulder, but never forcing it, always easing in. One more time to the other side. This time the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around as the dragon swings its tail. Nice and flowing as if your fingers are just breaking the surface of the water, sending out little waves into the distance. Then the hands come together, prayer position. They come right to the heart, center. And then step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, soften the hips and knees down. And then as you rise up to the side, the fingertips point up. Then coming back down to center. Other side, swimming dragon, part one. Breathing in and breathing out, looking to the opposite side. One more time. This time the hands turn onto their sides as they drift right across the eye level and across the heart. Lower abdomen, swimming dragon, part two. Hands float back up, drift across, up high, medium, and then low. And then release, round out, hug the tree, and then soften. From here, the fingertips dip down towards the earth. Hands float all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body, you're holding a column of air. Breathing in as you rise up. Breathing out, floating down. We call this digging in the garden. Getting ready for the spring. And then reverse direction with the arms, they float all the way up and over, out and down. Big circle as we harvest from the garden. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go, just meeting yourself where you're at. One more time, harvesting from the garden, and then round out and hug the tree. From here, the arms open up wide. This hand scoops under the other one on top. Embrace the moon. Pivot on the heel, point the toes to the, to the side, and then the moon orbits around the earth. Circling it around as if you're carrying something precious. Sometimes called the stirring the chi, circulating the energy in the body, and then reverse direction. Whichever way you're going, just go the other way. Circle it around one more time. The moon orbits the earth. And then hug the tree, 
Bring it back to center, pivot on the heel so the toes face forward. The arms open, then this hand scoops under, the other one on top. Pivot on the heel to point the toes out to the other side. The moon orbits around the earth. Shifting the weight forward and back. Gentle rotation of the spine. And then reverse direction. Take your time, circle it around, really feel all the sensations that you can. Bringing mindfulness to the body. And then from here, round out, hug the tree. Bring it back to center, pivot on the heel. And then step the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the hands draw in towards the heart. And then push out to the side. Draw the hands back in. Push out to the other side. The dragon stretches its tail. This time as you push out to the side, tap the toe out the other way. Opposite foot. Touching out the toes, gentle reach. This time tap the toes in front. Other side, shift the weight, tap the toes in front like you're testing out the waters. All right, this time tap the toes behind. You don't have to go very far. Other side. Very nice. This time, if you want, you can cross diagonally behind. Or just step directly behind. That works better for you. One more time on this side. The dragon stretches its tail. Beautiful. Hug the tree. From here, the arms open up wide. The fingertips drift towards each other. The hands float down. Gentle sway like tall grass in the breeze, shifting the weight side to side. And you can do this at any point during the flow if your arms get tired. And then shift over to one side, tap the heel right out in front of the opposite foot, bring it back in, shift the weight, other side, tap the heel. All right, this time tap the heel, the hand comes over the foot. Other side, tap the heel, hand over the foot. All right, this time hand over the foot, other hand in front of the heart, playing the pipa, the Chinese guitar. Other side, hand over the foot, the other hand in front of the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, play the pipa. Step in and hug the tree, and then step one foot out a little bit wider once again. And then from here, the arms open up wide. The wrists cross down low. And rising up, opening the arms overhead. And then floating back down as if we're gathering energy from the earth. And then giving it back to the sky above. Balancing mind and body, creating harmony and peace. One more time, harmonizing yin and yang. And then reverse direction with the arms. Circle in front, hug the tree. Step the foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the hands turn over. The bottom hand drops down. Toss away. The hand waves in towards the center and then press forward right towards me. Repulsing the monkey. Other side, toss away. The elbow bends, the hand waves in. Pushing palm over palm creating focus and clarity, calming the monkey mind. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. This time, toss away the other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in as you soften down. Rising up, softening down, breathing in, breathing out. All right, this time, step out to the corner. And as you step out to the corner, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes to the corner. Top hand circles down, bottom hand circles up. Coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Circle it around, and as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. Just keep on moving. Still get all the benefits of Tai Chi. One more time, brush knee and push. All right, now this time the top hand makes a loose fist and then draw it in towards the side. The other hand comes up and over. 
and then pushes down, brush knee, punch low. Draw the fist back in, the bottom hand comes up and over. Circle it around. All right, one more time. Call this one punching low. And then step back in, hug the tree, rounding out, soften. From here, this hand drops down, toss away. Other hand on top, step in. Both hands together, pushing down and waving in. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. Once again, take as many breaths as you need. This time, step out to the corner. And as you step out, bottom hand brushes past the knee, top hand pushes to the corner. Top hand floats down, bottom hand floats up. Weaving it all together, brush knee and push. Circling it around. Once again, feeling the sensations, how mindful can you be? One more time, brush knee and push. And then from here, the top hand makes a loose fist, draw the hand right into the side. The other hand comes up and over. Brush knee, punch low. Draw the fist back in, bottom hand comes up and over. Breathing. One more time. Punching low. Step in, hug the tree, and soften. And from here, the arms open up wide, the hands float down by the sides. Once again, stepping the foot in, going on the ball of the foot, this time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. And you can stay just like that, a little active rest. Or this time you can lift your leg, the crane. And then the arms float all the way up and over just as much as you can. And then stepping down to the side, other side. Just the arms at first, spreading your wings like a beautiful bird, soaring through the sky. Touching down or lifting up making this your crane. It can change from day to day, that's okay. All the way up and over, and then stepping down. This time you can lift right up. You can even hold it if you want. Meeting yourself where you're at, riding the wave, riding the breath. One more time, the crane <clears throat> on this side. And then stepping down, we'll do another round on the other side. Lifting right up if you want. Touching down as needed or holding the leg up, it's okay too. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, the crane. This time stepping down, the wrists cross down low, and then the arms float all the way up and overhead. And then the arms float down as you shift your weight to one side. Our arms spread behind, you can keep your toe down or you can lift it up as the crane takes flight. And stepping down, cross the wrists, arms rise up, they float back down, shift the weight to the other side, the crane spreads its wings behind. Stepping down, cross the wrists, rising up, shifting the weight. Touching down or lifting, hinging from the hip if you like. Going back up, stepping down. One more time on the other side, the crane takes flight. And stepping down, the arms float all the way up and over, floating all the way out to the sides and down. This time the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand here floats all the way up and over, down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up. Breathing out, centering. Calming the heart. Calming the body and the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both arms float up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees and circle in front, gather in the energy to transform into loving kindness and self-compassion right at the heart. Back down one more time, open the heart.
Breathing in, breathing out. This time make a diamond shape with the hands right in front of the heart. Press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. Turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. Then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. Closing your eyes or keeping a soft gaze, let your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. Just feeling all the sensations in the body that arise. Feel the body breathing. And bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. We can finish with a bow. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, I'd love it if you went below the video and typed a comment letting me know how you're feeling right now after doing the flow. Thanks so much, and I look forward to having you in class again real soon. Peace.